Hi everyone and welcome. I want to share a little project that I have created that I'm going to be mailing out um, as some happy mail. And uh, I'm also using up some scraps uh, for Graphic 45. So this is also going to be for the Graphic 45 collaboration which we post uh, the first Friday of every month and the collaborators will be in the description box below and this collaboration is uh, uh, the Graphic 45 collab with Poet Spice and Gracie 21 both here on YouTube so like I said I'm trying to use up uh, some of my scraps. So I've used some scraps to create this little box that holds a dangle charm that I have created. And the collection that I used is Botanical Tea. And I have a, a little bag of scraps that I've been trying to, to use. So this is my little bag. I got a few more scraps to go and I want to try and use this up before I break into any of the other pieces that I have left in the collection and I also used some of the chipboard pieces that I have so let me show you what I have done the little box measures uh, four by two and it's big enough to hold just a small dangle charm that I have done and uh, oh, it is an inch in depth as well. So what I did was I papered the top um, and then I layered some of the scrap pieces here on the side and made little uh, flags here. I fussy cut some of the paper. Um, there was those beautiful flowers on some of the paper, so I fussy cut some of them out, and then I fussy cut these as well. And then I found on one of the sheets there was a bunch of words, and there was "Hello, friend," so I fussy cut that as well. And I inked everything in vintage or not vintage for uh, walnut stain distress ink, just to kind of make it pop just a little bit. I added some seam binding to the chipboard piece and then I also added some Nouveau drops on the front and I also have papered the sides of the lid and the sides of the box I did not um, I did paper the inside I papered the insert um, that holds the charm for this I did not paper the bottom and I did not paper the underside of the lid either so I probably could have it would have used up some more scraps but yeah it was not a really big deal I guess so I still may do that we'll see what happens so and let me show you the little charm that I've created so this is a little charm that I have created and I did paper the insert I just put a piece of paper down and again I um, distressed it with the walnut stain distress ink and then I will show you the little charm that I've created I have it on a little lobster claw clasp and it's basically just uh, some beads I have this puffy heart here that I have as a charm and then I have some beads which are in pinks and grays and then I have some ivory colored uh, pearls and then this wood letter what I have done is I have glittered it up I use some glossy accents and then some of the um, Tim Holtz fine glitter so this is the little charm that I have made I think it's super cute very pretty and then it just gets clipped onto a piece of twine on the insert so I'll, I just have it on a piece of twine there I really like how this came out and I hope that the person that receives this likes it just as much and then the insert just slides right back in and the insert is um, 
just a little shy of 2x4 because uh, I wanted it to fit snugly in the box but not too tight that it couldn't uh, come out. So this is the little box and the dangle charm I have created. I want to thank you for stopping and please check out all the other collaborators and I will see you in the next video. Bye.